is a company that can trace its origins back to 1810. It makes it one of the oldest companies uh, in Ireland. We're actually based in Bangor in Northern Ireland. Uh, and the company's main products are around water systems and heating systems for mobile applications. So one of the things we looked at with the Stratasys machine was is there any way we could actually 3D print injection moulding tools. And injection moulding is a core competency of what we do as we have our own machines here. There was a lot of scepticism and a lot of people said, how could you 3D print a injection moulding tool which is plastic, put it in an injection moulding machine, and then inject and out pops plastic parts. Surely the tool would melt, deform, all those sort of things. We have uh, used the Connex machines to do injection moulding tools with using our high temperature ABS materials. Um, we have went from using our main moulds to do automotive and to do aerospace and through to diaphragms using plastics as polypropylene, polypropylene gas fills, materials and today we're really going to talk about um, developments of uh, a diaphragm tool that we've used for our own new product developments and progressing that on to actually putting it into our products. If we were to look through our R&D and produce a metal tool, um, we'd be looking four to five weeks and a large cost on producing these tools, which slows down the full development uh, of the product. We came across and printed out our actual mould tools um, designed them up on the day and printed them out overnight and came in the next day and the product was ready for us to do tests on different materials um, like a monoprime and sandoprime where we could do full tests and function tests in our lab. Since we introduced 3D printing in-house uh, it's completely revolutionised our product launches so we're bringing product to market on average 20% faster than we were before. So going forward, for me, this is uh, hugely revolutionary for how we are going to operate as a business. It's going to take months out of R&D in terms of development, and it's also going to de-risk it. So at this stage, we can't get high volume, obviously, out of a plastic tool, but that's just a question of working with Stratasys on materials. But what we can do now is get initial pre-production batches and even launch batches of components made which really de-risks the business, shortens the R&D process again by 30 to 35% on top of 20% already from the, the design work we're doing. So for me, fantastic.